Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain the power of Plasticity's multi-window workflow, which I think is just a very nice, simple, elegant solution. Just a common problem that you see in many programs where what if you want to import something from one scene to another one, where you have to oftentimes open it up and then kind of uh, merge it or do things like that, import, export, but here in Plasticity it's very simple. So here I'm just doing a basic warm-up, just uh, some random thing here, and let's say I want to go ahead and import objects from other scenes. So, all I have to do is click right here, and then click on New Window. It opens up a second window, and here you can begin to model other things. So, for example, if this is your first time using Plasticity, here you can begin to model um, some sort of various insert details. So, an example of that would be, let's say you got some basic screw detail here. So, now we're going to go ahead and model that. Then I'll select this and press uh, control, uh, uh, Shift D to copy that. Um, and I'll isolate that. And let's say I'll just chamfer this. I'm going to create a box object here. I will Shift D that, R, V to set up a custom pivot right there. Hold down control for snaps. All right. Select this, hold Shift to add that. Q. All right, exit isolation mode. So now, guys, I've got both something to subtract away from and an object to rest in there, right? So I'll go ahead and select this. I press uh, Control Shift C, set this up. So essentially, guys, here's the difference. If I press Control D, that is the place tool. I will begin to place things within the scene, right? But if I select this and press Control Shift C, and set up the center, the pivot, it's nothing's going to happen now, but that's because it's saved it in memory. When you now switch to a different um, window here, you can now press Control shift v and it'll be right here for you to access. Right, now I can go ahead and select this, Q, and just like that, guys, you can import details. All right, so this is that's if your first time, but once you've been working for this for a while, you probably have different uh, a scene full of little objects you can use. In that case, we just go here, recent files, and then do something like this, and eventually you will have a scene. Let's see here. Right, eventually you will have a scene full of little objects you can import here. So you obviously don't want, don't want to create things from scratch, so you can go ahead and uh, just have them all right here. Now what I've done here guys is, if you want to um, have the boolean work correctly, you need to be a solid, right? But it's, it's hard to see what the difference is between all these objects. So what I've done here is I have this right here, where I can actually see the corresponding result. So I know like, what's the difference between these three objects, they look very similar, well, here's the difference. We have three different uh, shapes being used here. And I'll show you really quick how you can do that. So, let's say go ahead and redo that. Alright, let's say I have this right here. Alright, this kind of bolt detail. So like right now, guys, I can't really tell what that's going to be. But what I would do is create a little box here. And I'll go ahead and uh, shift D that up here. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and move that up. And let's say for this one, I shift D this. And uh, for this one here, um, I'll go ahead and create something different. Let's see if this one here will have something uh, small like this. All right. So now I'll go ahead and shift, shift D this up here. So now I can actually see, guys, I'll give this, I'll press M just to sign. 
uh, this basic gray material here. So now I can actually see, okay, if I want this detail, I can do this. If I want that detail, I can select this. I can go ahead and, you know, Control shift d that. And now I can plug it into here, Control shift v But you could even have a different one. You could have a new window. And on the new window, you can go ahead and uh, have something else, for example. All right, maybe this object here. You can see now I can go ahead and import things from even here as well. And now from this scene, guys, I can go ahead and uh, select something here. Let's say I select this and uh, Control Shift C. Uh, let's say get the middle right there. All right, go back to the other scene. Um, you know, Control Shift V. I can put that right there. So guys, just like that, we can have multiple windows. We have this very nice fun workflow where you can have, for example, different scene files with different types of kit bash pieces and um, maybe different types of details. Now, maybe maybe in one scene you have a bunch of circular details and one a bunch of triangular details, rectangular details, uh, frames, uh, surface details, a bunch of stuff, uh, you know, various joints. You have this very fun workflow, guys. We can just import them from one scene to the next. So I think it's a very simple solution uh, to a common problem. So thank you guys for watching and take care.